Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk uh, mountain weather and ski conditions. And first stop, we'll start at Heavenly up there into Tahoe where it has been snowing off and on all around Tahoe and uh, Shasta down towards uh, Mammoth. Heaven's reporting, uh, Heavenly is reporting five inches of new snow. Uh, so there are a couple of things in the forecast. First, this storm, which is over the Sierra, that'll slide across the west. It's pretty small. It's pretty minor. There is another storm behind it as well, which is a little bit bigger. So we'll take a look at all of that. But again, that's in the Sierra. In fact, you can see the blue right over the top of the Sierra. And the snow will continue to fall there all the way through today into tonight. There's a low sitting right about there. I'll see if I can't mark it. And that low, again, is, is in, the, in the terms of majors, majors and minors. The storm we had in Colorado was a major one. This one is a minor one. And it will move pretty quickly, and it's going to go in almost a straight line and dive south into the southern mountains of Colorado. But what I want to point out next is this storm. This is a larger storm system right here. In fact, you can see it uh, in that cloud deck right there extending from north to south. That will become more of a weekend potential storm system across the west and the Intermountain West. And that one may affect areas a little further north. Wasatch, Teton, so Idaho, we'll have to take a look at that one as well. I'll run the future radar all the way out into this upcoming weekend. Jetstream will give us a clue as to what's going on. So by the time we get to Tuesday night, notice this just minor, minor dip right here in the jet. That's that fast-moving low coming out of California. But that's in and out very quickly, so we have to focus on this upcoming weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is a much larger low pressure, the one I pointed out sitting out over the Pacific. You can see it. There's a bigger dip in the jet. There's more energy coming out ahead of it. This one's going a little further north, and, and, and there are uncertainties, timing in, in particular. How early does the snow hit the Wasatch, the Tetons, between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Don't know yet, but I'll give you my best guess coming up with the future radar. But that's the jet stream. Um, that gives us a good clue. So let's push this into the future. So here we are at the current state of affairs. Let's go into Tuesday morning at 5. Again, it's a, it's a kind of a minor ragged low. You can see there's just blue pieces all over the place. There's nothing really organized. In fact, there's even uh, this, you see this band up here. This is kind of an interesting tidbit. That's even left over from that major storm that moved through Colorado. There's the bands, cyclonic curvature around it is just absolutely huge. All right, so all of that slides through. That's the, it, and it moves through very quickly in Colorado. There, there'll be some snow, mainly on I-70 south with this storm. So if you're thinking about where to ski on Wednesday, uh, I would ski in southern Colorado. I'd hit Telluride, Silverton, Wolf Creek, Monarch, I would, Aspen Snowmass. I would focus on those areas as that low slides through very quickly. And then there's a little bit of a break behind it. So that's Wednesday morning right there. Let's move into Thursday morning. And then we'll refocus. Notice out on the west coast, that's the beginning part of that next storm system that will be sliding in. And it's a larger storm, like I was saying. So between Thursday and Thursday and the Friday morning, there it is. And you can see there's just more precip running all the way down the west coast from Whistler all the way down through the Cascades into parts of Oregon and even northern California, Tahoe, by the time we get into Friday morning. Then between Friday and Saturday, that whole area of precip with the jet moves into the interior. Um, and here we go. Okay, so you can see it's on a diagonal. Let me just mark it. And the low, the main low would be behind it. So like I was saying, the question here is, how quickly does this move in? Or does it wait a little bit as the low matures off the coast? Because this will ultimately determine who has a powder day on Saturday. I think the best chances would be in Idaho. Uh, I think by late Friday, Saturday, it could be in the Tetons. Will it have made it into the Wasatch by Saturday morning? That's a big question mark. It certainly won't be in Colorado by Saturday, um, at this, by Saturday morning. It may be by the middle part of the day, but the timing on this will be very interesting to see how it plays out for the rest of the week um, and see how quickly the jet moves that low inland. So. That's kind of the look through Saturday morning. Let's take a look at accumulation numbers. Um, so again, this first low that's coming through the west is pretty minor. There isn't going to be, there aren't going to be any big accumulations with it. So between today, tonight, and Tuesday, I think we could squeeze out a couple of inches of accumulation in the Wasatch. You can see that right there, a few over Kings Peak, um, and a little bit, a tiny bit in southwest Colorado, but really during the day into the afternoon in Colorado that will add accumulation. And we're not talking about a lot by Wednesday morning. Um, Silverton would be a good bet. Telluride and Wolf Creek, again, I would look at that on Wednesday. 
okay, so let's move ahead. That's that low, it's in and it's out. Between Wednesday and Thursday, there's not a lot happening. We start to see the West Coast under the influence of that next low pressure system. So that's Thursday morning, let's move into Friday. Then the numbers start ticking up into Friday from Whistler down to Rainier all the way into Shasta. That's Friday and we'll finish this forecast out on Saturday morning. And there will definitely be an increase in snow across the West Coast and then we start to see some of the accumulation tick up through Sun Valley, Discovery, and into Jackson Hole. But again, we'll see. Maybe it makes it into the Wasatch by Saturday morning. That's a big question mark. All right, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care. Have a good day.